KD7 MNI here, and I'm at the Amateur Radio Club at Washington State University in Pullman, where I go to school. Now, the Amateur Radio Club here, whose call sign is W7YH, was actually founded here in 1911 when the university was called the Washington Agricultural College, and at the time was the first collegiate amateur radio club in the world. Now the club entered a hiatus in the mid-90s and sort of fell off the map and we're just starting it back up again. Um, we recently just installed antennas on the roof where we can receive now. We're not allowed to transmit yet until we do some further testing and make sure we aren't causing any interference around the university. But some of the interesting artifacts I've found so far are right here we have a license from the FCC dated and to 1927 under the call sign 7UL, which is pretty interesting. So far, we participated in a couple of contests this year um, over at another other club stations and borrowing some amateur other people's gear um, off campus. Um, we've been doing satellite nights a couple times, but hopefully we are able to transmit here pretty soon and make a few contacts. Um, if you're interested in our Q, um, QSL card, um, this is what it looks like for W7YH, pretty cool with the cougar on it. And so hopefully when we are on the air, you can make contact with us and we can exchange QSL cards. Well, I'm going to take you on a little tour around our shack. We are located in the Electrical and Mechanical Engineering Building here on campus. And behind me you see our primary radio, which is an ICOM 751A. It works out pretty well, even though it's an older model. We haven't used it too much since we haven't been able to transmit so far, but we'll be using that a lot once we are able to. Sort of look around the room. It's a pretty small room, but that's our primary setup with our power supply and everything. We can pan over here and this is some other equipment we haven't really tested too much yet. All of this was inherited from the club before it entered its hiatus. So we are still testing out everything. We have our computer area and so far this year we've only made gone two QSL cards since we have just started out. But once we are up and running on HF that wall will grow quite a bit. And so yeah, we have a little space, but it seems to work out pretty well. And so hopefully I'll put more updates on the club and how we're doing. But if you want to check out what we're doing at our club, you can visit our website, the Amateur Radio Club of Washington State University at hamradio.wsu.edu and see what we're doing. All right, I'll see you on the air.